The very name of Robert Morris University suggests history, especially that of our nation and one of the biggest benefactors of the American Revolution. However, as the just-completed academic year reminded us, RMU is much more about the present than the past when it comes to athletics. From last fall through the spring, the Colonials continue to make it clear that they are an ascendant force, both on the regional sports scene and within the Northeast Conference. 2014-15 got off to a roaring start at the Sewell Center, where the volleyball team surged through its conference schedule, winning 12 of 14 matches against league foes and qualifying for the NEC championship game for the first time since 2010. The Colonials fell one victory shy of a postseason title and subsequent NCAA tournament berth, but Dale Starr's squad established a foothold in conference play that should yield more positive results this fall. Men's hockey got its second decade of Division I action underway in October, and it was clear right from the start that the previous season's national breakthrough would serve as a stepping stone to further accomplishment. Coach Derek Schooley's Colonials, boosted again by Hobie Baker Award finalist and all-time program leading scorer Cody Wido, led the Atlantic Hockey Conference standings from wire to wire and took home their first ever regular season championship, along with a team record 24 wins. The Colonials didn't make a return to the NCAA tournament in 2015, but RMU Hockey showed that it was no one-year phenomenon, as it boasted one of the country's best winning percentages and was ranked in the top 20 for the vast majority of the hockey season. While the Island Sports Center saw its share of excitement over the winter, so did the Sewell Center, with both basketball teams turning on the Jets with the start of NEC play. Sal Biscaglia's women's squad reeled off 11 straight victories at one point and finished third in the league standings. Although the Colonial women ended the season one victory short of their fourth NEC postseason trophy in nine years, they made yet another league championship game, giving RMU fans a chance to see their team play for a title. As for the men's hoops team, they found their rhythm as the season went along. Andy Toole's group won three in a row to close the regular season and three more in the NEC tournament, capped by a thrilling nationally televised win at St. Francis, Brooklyn, to clinch their first NCAA tournament appearance since 2010. Once in the bracket of 68, the Colonials were far from done, rallying for a four-point win over North Florida in Dayton, Ohio. RMU's first NCAA tournament triumph since 1983 set up a date with Duke in the round of 64. The Colonials hung in early before the Blue Devils pulled away on their way to a national championship two weeks later. You didn't have to play inside to have fun this year, though. RMU's softball, women's lacrosse, and men's golf teams proved that this spring, as all three competed for championship trophies as the weather turned warm. Women's lacrosse made the conference postseason for the second straight year with a dramatic season-ending victory, while softball went 13-3 in league competition to earn a regular season title and the right to host the NEC tournament, where senior Nicole Sleeth pitched the first perfect game in Colonial's program history. Finally, Jerry Stone's men's golf team wrapped up the year in proper fashion, earning its third NEC championship with a dominant performance and then booking a trip to the NCAA Regionals at Yale. From the way the year ended, you couldn't blame the Colonials and their fans if they didn't want summertime to ever arrive. On the other hand, the next couple of months give everyone time to dream about what's to come in the future in Moon Township. For RMU Athletics, this is Matt Geica.